show you the best strategies and ways that I have been able to 2v1 and I'm basically going to be showing you it to you today in a tutorial. Enjoy, watch till the end because I'm going to be loading a bunch of information onto you. Step number one, uh, make sure you know how to actually like fight and PvP and all that kind of stuff because some people they, they don't so I'm not trying to call anyone out here or anything but like make sure you know how to 1v1 before you 1v2 or something you know what I'm saying all right since most of this is going to be uh, on bed wars because most of the time you're gonna need a 2v1 on bed wars or maybe just the survival world I'm gonna be demonstrating most of this in bed wars step number one uh, make sure you have better stuff than your opponents uh, because you're going to be taking them both on at the same time. Oh my gosh, they're just asserting their dominance, aren't they? Also, you're going to need a lot of uh, equipment. You're going to need a lot of blocks because you're going to need a lot of bridge and running away in this. Also, you're going to need gapples for this because it takes a lot of health in order to 2v1, which is also why you need good armor. Alright, so part of the magic of 2v1-ing is, uh, or like 1v2-ing, is that your player the play the people are coming at you at the same time so for example if I can zoom in on that guy He's being he's look at him. He's being massacred he, Like he just got massacred because they were called coming all over him like he was just getting destroyed He was like a pinball machine, but then oh What what is See look at me and this is my partner. I just like we just completely obliterated him, but then that's because both of us were coming in at the same time. What you need to do in 2v1ing, or at least defense 2v1ing, is you gotta get the the people almost alone. You gotta focus on one person at a time. That person over there, he was just kind of focusing on both of them, trying to fend himself off, like, but not really having any direction. And because of that, they were taking equal hits, and not really, not he he wasn't really getting anywhere. It's good to do that when you're doing a defense, just to fend them off, but eventually, you, you gotta focus on someone. Alright guys, so when you're 2v1ing, you're going to need to, like I said, spread out a little bit. In this one, we're kind of having a bit of a divide, so we're just gonna go like that. But then this guy's coming, as you can see, the partner's all the way over there. He's distracted, so we're able to take this guy on, destroy the bed, finish the partner off. Like that, the other partner might be coming though. Yep, he's right behind me. But like I said, we gotta divide and conquer. Uh, take on the partners semi uh, dividingly. Kind of low health, like I said. That's why we got the better armor. Gotta have the good armor. And try to push him off. There we go. And that. Is an example of 2v1ing. Uh, I know I kind of cheated a little by having the partner here. I tried to, but he didn't do much, so yeah. Another thing about 2v1ing, you gotta be very quick. Notice how the entire time I didn't stop moving uh, until I got to the last player. On the last player, you can stop moving, do a little bit more defense, because that's when you're gonna have lower health. But uh, notice how I stopped moving. I was very fast and very aggressive. Most of the time, you wanna, when you're 2v1ing, you wanna have the upper hand, like in this case. Uh, I'm kind of able to hit them, but they're not able to hit me as good until they, you know, they evolve, they get smarter, you know, they're evolving slowly. If you're starting to take damage in a 2v1, you want to get to a place where you're able to be safe, you want to be able to heal up, because uh, you can't just continuously take that heat, you gotta get to a higher vantage point. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Watching this, I tried to make some clips where I combined all the methods into one, and I realized that I kind of did that in the videos and the clips that I did. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like the video so that then more people can see how to 2v1. If you want me to do more stuff like this, how to like 1v3 or just more PvP methods, then comment down below what you want me to do next. And that's all for me, guys. Peace out.